Super Liminal. Super Liminal is a game made by a bunch of assholes who had too much time on their hands. Uh, it's a game about forced perspective and uh, uh, if you're on LSD or not. Now, I love Super Liminal, okay? Uh, I think it's a great game. It has a lot of unique gameplay mechanics. Gameplay mechanics that only six or five people have ever thought of. Uh, and those six or five people were high as shit. Now, as you see when you load into the game, it gives you a nice little tutorial as to look uh, left and right. Now, don't take your eye off the door. Instead, you just want to never look away from here. Uh, so now we've looked away from there. There's a door. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, you heard of Slenderman? You know how they say don't look away from it? Everything in this game you look at to touch. For example, you see this ball stickle right here? Uh, Terms of box is big, accepted. box is small. Boom. On falling you just want to bind jump to the scroll wheel yourself. and let's just stop. Uh, there you go. Stand here, grab the door, look straight up. There you go. Now you want to tilt this in such a way that you cannot see it anymore. Like you're hiding, like you're holding a white line. Look here, and all of a sudden, it freezes your game. Now, there's the level, and there's the rest of the level. And now we spawn here. Because you want to want this sign. <laughs> I'm a bird. <laughs> you just want any sign, really. <laughs> sign that can launch you up at high speed so you can grab this thing uh, this is the easter egg uh, it's an easter egg to another game I'm playing it's just an easter egg uh, you need it for an achievement uh, you can actually get on that walkway but there's no reason since the door's locked uh, the devs thought that there might be a way to get up here and like people would instead of playing the game you know try to launch themselves at high velocities up with the sign Don't stop me though. Not to worry. We're there you working go. on it. But so special in fact that we have no idea where you are. Uh We're in the sky. We're slowly falling toward the botanical garden section. Uh that's the secret room right there. And I missed I want to land on top of the, uh... Yep, made it. Welcome to the next level. 
This is what it looks like when it's not loaded in, by the way. Uh, I can't actually get back in there through any way, except hopping my way across this border over here and landing around here, I believe. Uh, kind of stuck. Don't worry, though. I'm sure there's a way out of this. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck at this Y level, but there are Oh, uh, well, off I go. So there's some sort of puzzle here. Uh, I, I don't really worry about it. Uh, there's a one in here in which there's a table. Uh, so you just want to stand here and... Uh, actually, over here on this edge of the carpet. And the uh, table becomes real. And then this becomes real. Uh, but what you know, though, is that on this side, it's a stairway. It's empty. Uh, we're not going to worry about that, because we're just going to... You don't really need that many blocks. Uh, there's the glass room we were on top of, the botanical gardens thing. Here's a door. Doors are pretty cool. Uh, so here's where the secret room is, by the way. Uh, right there, you just go down there. Uh, I'm sure there's a video uh, all about that. Hello. Hello. My name is Dr. Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you So what you, you want to do is you just want to reverse Eastern right window. But here. But please keep moving forward and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. You just want this big thing over here. There's a secret up here. It's not a big secret. It's more of a... Oh, look at me. You can't get up here. Because uh, there's not enough items in this room to stack up there or something. Uh, oh, look at me. You have to do parkour to get up here. And get on the electric box and uh, do some random shit. You just want to do that. Here's the dice. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's unique, actually. Got it. So... Welcome to the top. Uh, you can hear like a wall on the inside. I'll pull up a clip of what it looks like from the indoors, but uh, yeah, I'm standing on top of that. So what you want to do is you want to run up here. You see this door right here? There's nothing over here, right? We jump down. Still nothing, right? Like pretty much just this. Step inside on the other hand. And back in, and we're on this level now. The oh, level with the Easter egg that spawned there, Pierce, and, and the, uh, still the sign it. here. But you should now have access to a series of elevators. Oh, I have access, alright. your subconscious. To... So this level right here, there's a maze. You just wanna do that. Mm-hmm. Doors about to close. I mean, you just have to walk backwards. Hit the stairs over here. Honestly, there isn't nothing to it. Alright. So, uh, if you stand on this knife, uh, uh, if you turn off the flashlight, you're still standing on the knife. If you turn it on and you fall, which means that the whoever scripted this thing means that the flashlight has to turn on for the knife to disappear, which is uh, interesting programming. I would think as soon as it turns off, you'd like to do that with like a second delay. Here's a strat I invented, uh, like most of these other ones, but what you want to do is you see this IKEA thing? You want to pull it. Take a left. Grab this can over here. I can't see shit. Oh. This can. This can over here. Look straight up. Okay, Alex, Alex. You like cans, right? Hey? Mm hmm. Okay, Alright, wait, what did you say? I didn't hear it. You like cans, right? Uh, no. Okay, me either. The good thing is, they also happen to cause your computer to have a seizure. Uh, well, now we are on the top of the map. There's nothing here, right? Now watch yeah. this and go whoosh. I'm totally Whoa. watching your stream right now. Alex, I'm recording for YouTube. The least you can do is actually sound fucking excited. <laughs> no, fuck uh, you. I'm sorry. Fuck you. No, fuck what? you. No, no, fuck, fuck what? you. You've ruined the moment. Fuck you. 
one hits the dark part, it becomes a smiley. Mm hmm. One hits the dark part again, unless you don't let it hit the dark part. Uh. Okay, we haven't let it hit the dark part. Uh, it's just gonna do this now. That, that, there you go. So there's some sort of level here involving uh, going around the fan, like just bringing the tomatoes around the fan, and like, uh, yeah. So it's a, it's a fun game. Uh, what you want to do is you want to buy a used scroll wheel. Come here and just there you go. Just on that. Okay. Now that we're in here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna enter in here and cause a paradox. Uh, this isn't actually how you beat the level. You beat the level by putting this over there and leaving. But uh, I like making this super small, like unbelievably small. Like it's that big now. It's that big now. And then uh, entering through this door, and you become so small that this happens. We have now brought the bouncy castle to the other side, and these two rooms lead to each other, meaning that is a camera, which if we look at the player through the door, here, you can see that the item doesn't exist on that screen. Uh, actually, it shouldn't exist on that screen. Uh, unless I face this to that. Which is going to create that. Uh, here's what else we can do. This is a camera. There you go, see? So in there you can see the, uh, the same castle I'm holding flipping around. It only goes one dimension, so you can't see through the door. That's the inside of the model. But yeah, it's cool to know that a uh, that bug exists. Just remember this little glow on the floor right in the middle here. Oh, the game wants me to do. Maybe I should just make it as big as I possibly can, and then. What do you mean the box isn't? I just did a save. What do you know? That worked. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood the door. That's the inside of the model. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, Here's the, uh, or how head. unexpected it became, yeah. you found your Where are <coughs> But, just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. Wait. Up. Go. Now super liminal. Love this game. It's the only game I keep. It's got a linear storyline, or if you could call it a storyline. The puzzles never change, but every time I come back, it's like there truly is a new way of thinking about it. And honestly, this this was a pretty special game. Like I'm gonna be honest, there's not a lot of games that make force me to think this much, but have fun while thinking about it. Uh, if you want to get the game, it's on Steam. Uh, it's a great game. I'm telling you, it's a great game. Uh, so all of these people with no life who programmed the game uh, did a great job. It all came together nicely. My God, I love this game. Thanks, and goodbye. <laughs>